Zoya, ma'am, thank you for being on the Quint. Thank you for doing this. Um, you know, I want to ask you this first, that when you're making a film that's designed to scare people or creep people out, mm -hmm. are there influences that you've seen that you used when you were writing? Firstly, because it's not a genre I've dabbled with before, hmm. I uh, wanted to know what kind of story I want to tell. And uh, then your influences definitely come into play because what are the stories you've been attracted to and why are you attracted to them? Uh, and uh, what resonates with me are stories that run deeper than just the uh, jump scare. You know, they, that, right. they, that stay with you, that are mm. a little more human. And uh, so I was looking for a story like that. And then you also look at stuff to just see sound, those films that you've liked, to see how sound was designed or how mm. they told the story, you know. So you yes, you have to refresh it because it is a different genre and uh, you don't want to fall into the tropes. You have to be able to do it yourself and do something uh, unique to you, tell your story, but yeah, you do a refresher course and look at things for sure, yeah. Because otherwise you're probably writing things that come naturally to you, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not, like a genre is not given to you and mm -hmm. you're asked to create things yeah. on a, on a yeah. otherwise. But I worked with a writer on this. I worked with a writer who's a horror movie geek. Hmm. She's this 26 year old girl called Ensia Mirza. She's an encyclopedia of horror cinema. You know, there's so much conversation now about how there aren't as many great female parts for older actors and you've just had an amazing performance in Badaiho and then there's this. Uh, do you think that there is still some scope for great writing for f older female parts? Definitely there is. And for you, why, why, was, it, why was it essential that you wanted uh, her in the film? I've been wanting to work with her for a while actually and uh, we almost collaborated on Gali okay. uh, but her dates for Badaiho didn't allow her Okay. to do it and uh, when we were writing this film I mean I, she was gonna be she was number one what's a day on your set like you are know? there like no goes like these, this is just not allowed on my set uh, yeah I don't like uh, littering okay. it drives me mad <laughs> like because I only shoot on location hmm. and uh, I just feel like it, like you're going into a space and you are if you don't respect that space and anyway I can't bear littering hmm. uh, so that drives me mad it's a complete there are dustbins all over my set but you know, ma'am, you've been unwell and, and, and you're still like, like raring to go. You're here today, you shot this film. Is, is it just like this intense passion for acting? I enjoyed working in this film. Easy for me, mostly it, it required me to be lying in bed. This old woman is crying out for her son. It's quite a pathetic situation. And she yeah, likes yeah. to work. Yeah. It's like a great working. energy to have. Mm -hmm. I love working. Yeah. Like what is Maybe it? Stop shooting! I had withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is your second time you're on on an ODD platform, right? I mean, after Made in Heaven. No, last uh, stories. stories, right? Yeah. On um, mm -hmm. third. Mm -hmm. So, uh, has it afforded you something that you couldn't in film, or do you think you've always had that free space? No, no, no. It's uh, afforded me a platform for different kinds of stories. Yeah, because like say a story like this one or even last stories, mm. it lends itself to a short format. Mm. I, I can't make it in feature. I can't. Uh, it right. as much uh, and even Made in Heaven it's mm. it's a story that needs eight episodes so uh, uh, these platforms have allowed me to be able to put my ideas uh, out which necessarily a theatrical platform wouldn't lend itself to yeah but then you also enjoy the fact that you don't have box office pressure right. you also enjoy, enjoy the fact that no one's telling you what your collections are mm. you know mm. and people are actually only responding to it as a piece of work Hmm. So they either like it or not, and that's liberating. So there are many, many pros to it. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you so much.